Hi, welcome to Hogar Hamster. Today I'll be demonstrating how to set up this iCam Pro Full HD camera from Amarillo. And I'm going to take the micro USB cord and plug into the power port on the back over here, which is right next to the micro SD card slot. I'm going to do this first is because it takes a little time for it to boot up. And once it's plugged in, the blue LED down here will illuminate. I'll place this to the side for now. And as for my smartphone, Head to the App Store, whether it's in the Google Play Store or the iOS App Store, and download the Armorillo app. It's a lion symbol with a white background and just says, simply says Armorillo. So I'm going to launch the app. And a couple of instructions. Now, I can either set up with a standard setup, obtain usage of the camera from another phone, or set the camera using WPS. Currently, camera just finished pan tilt. If your if your router supports WPS, there's a symbol right back here. You, know, you need to like a like a push pen or something. Uh, a regular ballpoint ballpoint pen won't be able to reach it, but take like a paper clip or something and press this icon, the Wi-Fi symbol with a plus sign, and press that and press the WPS button on your router to sync them together. That's if you're using this uh, this feature right here, set the camera using using WPS. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a standard setup method. And I'm going to choose the camera I'm trying to set up. Then it just says connect the power, which I already did. Wait for the blue LED to illuminate, and currently the blue LED is just blinking. And next, and it talks about the placement of the camera. So now. I need to put in the Wi-Fi information. And just enter my Wi-Fi password here. After entering my Wi-Fi information, I'm gonna hit this arrow right here. Then it just says, follow the steps below and place your phone with the QR code about four inches or so from the camera. So I'm gonna hit next. The phone generated a QR code. I'm gonna place the QR code about four inches. The camera just beeped. And just give it a little, wait a little bit because uh, it's just uh, currently saving the Wi-Fi information to the camera. And on a smartphone, there's that little indicator right here. This little symbol is thinking. All right, so the camera retained that information. Setup is now complete. All right, so now I can be in viewing the camera. To view the camera, just hit this play button, this play symbol right here. This brown bar on top, it just said that the motion was detected, audio was, de was uh, detected, and took snapshots. I'd like to access the microphone. Okay, sure. Hi. Let me uh, turn the sound off. Now let's take this time to show the menu system. This gear box, click on that, enter the menu. I'm going to hit later. This privacy mode. So when there's an alert, you can choose either take a snapshot or send a text. The motion sensor, audio sensor, so all the sensitivity, intruder alarm, motion tracking. So the reason I got this camera is for the motion tracking. I'll demonstrate that later on in my review video. And recording, I'm gonna set to yes, I wanna record. This did come with a 32 gigabyte micro SD card, which I do have plugged into it, inserted into it. And let me see, resolution. I'm gonna choose the 1080p, since it's a full HD camera. Timestamp, yes, I will want that. Upload storage, I have not set up the Amarillo Cloud account yet. So the SD card, good status. I've used 15 megs, I got 30 gigs left. And mention before, it is the Cloud account. There's also the Google account you can link with this too. And let's see. So here's audio microphone. 
I'm gonna turn the microphone off first because I don't want the feedback to occur when I'm viewing the camera. Speaker volume, two-way audio. So video calls, max streaming resolution. And show resolution for video calls. Yeah, I'm gonna show the resolution. Here's a few miscellaneous perks, backlight conversation, night vision, flip the image, what I eat if I wanted to, a time zone. Yeah, so I'm in the New York area. So the admin QR code, reboot device, and about this device. Currently, this is the firmware I'm using, 3.4.4. And there's a newer version of firmware out there. All right, let's head back and let's view the camera once again. Yeah, try the pan tilt. I'm essentially just swiping the screen. So that's pan. So it can go one step up or two steps down and that's it. I try to go any further down, you can't. And the resolution automatically adjusts current. Before it was 360, now it's 720p. Let's check out the images. So here's the uh, photo album. Let's access my photos. Okay. Oh, that's my camera's photo album, not what's on the micro SD card. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to access the camera from other devices. So previously I would demonstrate this using an iPhone. And here I have an Android device. In the Google Play Store, I just download the Amarillo app. Same line icon with a white background. I'm going to click open. And this time, rather than the standard setup, I'm just going to say the middle one, which says obtain usage of the camera from another phone. Now it's saying to obtain a streamer access from another phone. So on this other phone, the, the first one I set up, I'm just going to head to the settings page, click the little gearbox, because I need to generate a QR code to scan on my second device. And I'm going to scroll down. And right here towards the bottom, it says administrative QR code. And hit this. So the QR code is there. Back on my Android device, let's go next. And I'm gonna scan it. The reason I'm adding it as administrator is because I want to be able to pan to control all the settings. And my phone just vibrated a bit. Let's just hit play. It says connection established. Hello. At any given time, you can only have one administrator logged into the account, so I'll need to exit it from my Android device. That way, I can access it on my iPhone device. Because if I were to try to access both at the same time, so let me first wait for the iPhone one to log in. So iPhone one is logged in right now. I'm gonna hit play on uh, the Android device and we shall see a error message pop up. It says device is occupied by another user. Now I'm going to demonstrate how to add viewer accounts to other mobile devices. Previously it was administrator accounts. With a viewer account, the people that use it are like nannies, other employees, grandparents for example, and you don't want them to have full access to the camera's settings page. So here, when you're on the administrator account, head to the settings and go to the viewer section. So I'm going to create one that says viewer type for through the app. I'm going to click this little plus icon right here. And here's a little warning. It says attention by performing the viewer transfer process, another smartphone or PC will get permission of the video call over the camera. Okay. So it generated a QR code. Now on the other mobile device, I'm going to launch the app. I'm going to choose the middle one, which says obtain use of the camera from another phone and scan the QR code. And just scanned it and automatically added it. And since this is a viewer account, the gearbox, the alerts, these are all grayed out. So I'm going to hit the play button right here. And while that's doing that, I'm going to head back to the camera over here, hit the play button on my Android device. My iOS device connected ready. My Android device will connect very soon. The reason I'm demonstrating this part 
is because with the administrator account, you can only have one admin logged in at any given time. Whereas if you have a viewer account, the administrator account, which is on the upper, the top one, the black phone, this is logged in, and I can have other view accounts logged in too at the same time. And as the administrator, I'm gonna hit back, go to the settings page. I can always revoke someone's access. So I'm gonna go to viewer over here. I'm gonna click this little delete button. I'm gonna remove this viewer account. And moment I deleted it, an error came up on here. It just quit the live view and brought me back to the main screen. So if I were to click this play button right now, it's trying to connect. It's not going to be able to connect because it doesn't have access to the camera. It says error access. Let's see it. Let's play again. The error message went by very fast. It says error access permission has been removed. I also want to show that I don't need to be on the same Wi-Fi network as the camera. Currently my Wi-Fi is turned off. And I'm going to hit this play button. I'm on the at t network. So I'm on the 4G LTE network right now. And I'm just trying to access the camera remotely. I can be at work. I can be at the park. It doesn't really matter. I can still access the camera. I do notice that it does take longer for it to load to access the camera than if I were on the home Wi-Fi. So current says loading 100%. Now it says connection established. Hi, it came up. Thanks for watching this video on how to initially set up the iCam Pro by Armorello and also a brief demonstration on the functionalities with this camera. If you guys have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching, Uncle Hamster. Bye.